Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very unusual one because today's pedicure will be on my own nails but done by another nail tech. I have been dreaming of a pedicure for a long time now, but twisting and being in all sorts of uncomfortable positions doing my own toenails always causes me to push it off. So I thought to myself, why not enjoy a pedicure and have my nails done by another nail tech? Therefore, I contacted my dear friend Anya to come to my studio. She is an amazing nail tech and has been doing nails for 4 years. So I'll be enjoying this fun pedicure and having my husband Stoss film. If the camera isn't in focus, you know who to blame. This is actually my very, very first pedicure from another nail tech, so I'm really excited. My heels look pretty good, but these calluses look terrible. I did go to an orthopedic not long ago, and they gave me some special insoles which will support my feet. However, I can't say that I always wear them. My orthopedic also suggested to surgically remove them, but they don't really bother me to that extent to have them removed, and I'm also not in any pain, so smoothing everything out with a nail drill will be more than enough for me. After working with the nail drill, Anya is applying a vitamin-based oil in those areas. Also, the disc that she is using is 320 grit. And now for my toenails. The nails on my big toes tend to crack when they're not coated. This is probably caused from tight shoes and too much pressure on the nail while walking.
After Anya has filed my nails, she is using a drop bit to clean up the dry cuticle on the nail plate. Personally, for a pedicure like this, I would have just used the flame pit and not switched from the drop pit to the flame pit. I typically use the drop pit when there is a lot of dry cuticle. Further, Anya is carefully snipping off a little bit of the dry cuticle on top and then buffing up the area with the nail drill to leave everything smooth. And now for our coating. And you may be surprised, but I told Anya that I didn't want to coat the cracks in my toenail gel, as this will only make the toenails on my right foot look whiter. Maybe you haven't noticed before, but everyone's nails on their right hand and on the right foot are whiter than the nails on the left hand and foot. And since my nails are already naturally on the whiter side, I don't really want to accent this with gel. Therefore, we will only coat my nails with a base coat and then the color. At this moment, I realize just how picky of a client I am, so luckily for this nail tech, I usually do my nails by myself. And what about you guys? Let me know down in the comment section below. And now for our color. It's been such a long time since I've done a bright red pedicure, so I think today is the perfect occasion. This gel polish isn't just any gel polish, it's a cream gel polish. And how is it different than a regular gel polish? Well, a regular gel polish will crack on a flexible surface, but a cream gel polish won't. It also doesn't run when being applied.
And after everything is cured, it's time to coat them in a glossy top coat. And we're finished. I am so happy with my fresh pedicure and feel super pampered. And what did you guys think of today's video? Let me know down in the comments section below. And let me know what kind of pedicure colors or designs you guys would like to see. If you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time.